Hey, hey, what's going on guys? Well, Sandra Everett here. If you're watching this video, you're trying to find out if you need an LLC for your super affiliate network business. Now, I will tell you that this video is not intended to be tax advice. Although I am a tax professional, I am not your tax professional, and I highly encourage you to seek out um, a tax professional to review your personal tax situation, okay? So, uh, I get a lot of people asking me, you know, being a part of Super Affiliate Network, you know, do I need an LLC? And so I want to talk a little bit about that. And, you know, I, I like to talk and type so you can see what I'm talking about as well as listen to my voice. OK, so the first thing is what does LLC stand for? LLC stands for Limited Liability Company. OK, and the reason people start, uh, you know, asking about an LLC is like they hear the issue about the liability and they also, um, you know, want to know about, you know, like taxes and stuff like is there a tax benefit? So first of all, there is no tax benefit. There's no tax benefit to starting an LLC. OK, and the reason is that an LLC is considered a disregarded entity. And what that means at the federal level, it means that um, you have the um, you're either a sole proprietor, a partnership, an S corp or a C corporation. There is no such thing as an LLC. So if you're a sole proprietor, if you're a single member LLC, you're considered a sole proprietor. If you're a multi-member LLC, you're considered a partnership unless you elect some other corporate treatment and S corporation or a C corporation. OK, so that's the disregarded entity part. And there is no tax. There is no additional tax benefit to starting an LLC. What an LLC does is it lim it's limits the liability. OK. And what that means is, is that it helps you establish your business as its own separate entity. OK, it gives it, it gives your business its own identity as a sole proprietor. Um, if if you die, the business dies, at least with an LLC, it's you know, it's it establishes its own separate identity. But if you're a single member LLC, you're still going to your taxes are still going to look the same. OK, um, so then you know so what's involved with having an llc like uh, you know like why would you want to start an llc well again it's that liability protection so in the in, in the event that somebody wanted to sue you if you have um items that are in your llc's name then that is the limit of the lawsuit okay however if your business is not run properly that means financially then you lose liability protection. So if you've got all kinds of money mixed together, so that means if you've got, if you're making your, uh, your commissions, you are over here bossing it out, but there's no separation, meaning that you, um, you know, you're paying for your personal things out of your business account, you're paying for business things out of your personal account, then that's what's called commingling of funds. And in, in the event that somebody does sue you, if you're commingling funds, then you, you, you lose, <coughs> excuse me, you lose that liability protection. Okay. So that's one of the things that you really have to be careful of. Um, now the other thing is, is that there's an annual cost uh, for your LLC. And each state is different. Um, there are some states where it can be $100, it can be $80, it can be as much as $500. It just depends on the state, okay? So um, you need to, before you go and start an LLC, you need to make sure that your, your business is producing the income to cover that cost. You have um, the, wait, let's see, you have the initial filing. I forgot about that, the initial filing and the annual cost. OK, now there are some states that tax um, your business regardless of whether or not you make money. It can be called a franchise tax. It can be called a business privilege tax. It can be it can go by any number of names because your LLC is a state run entity. Um, the states can require you to pay these additional taxes. So. And so again, you know, some of, in some states, it doesn't matter if you make money or not. It's this, this is just a base tax. Okay. And you know, 
And so in some states, it can be based off your, the, your profit. It can be pay, based off of your gross sales. It can be based on a, any number of things. So you have to know what your state requires. But like these franchise taxes, business privilege tax, that kind of thing, it doesn't matter if you make money or not. You still have to pay this tax in order for you to continue to run your business, okay? So, um, so to answer the question, do you need an LLC for your super affiliate network business? When you're first getting started, probably not. OK, um, it's really not an expense that you need to incur. Now, if you get to the point where you're concerned about someone suing you. So really, when you start making these six and seven figures and all of that, that's when people really want to go for the folks that have that make the money. So at some point by then, you definitely want to separate that. But if you're just getting started, worry about making your money first and then, you know, worry about the business structure Second, okay, the other things that you need to do is check your local statutes, okay, because even if you're running an internet business, some, some local areas require you to have a business license, okay, and it might be a DBA doing business as, okay. So you, your local, your local area may require you to have a, um, have a business license in order for you to run an online business. That's okay. Okay. Your business licenses are usually fairly inexpensive. They can be as inexpensive as 20 bucks. It can be 50 bucks. It depends on your locality. Okay. So you want to check your local area to see if you are required to have a business license. So you want to have that as a minimum. Um, but uh, but again, you know, just starting out, you don't need to have, uh, you don't necessarily need to have and uh, have an LLC unless you are worried about some sort of, you know, needing some sort of liability protection. Um, but, you know, but each case is different. So this is why I tell you to, you know, really consult with someone. You're welcome to reach out to me and consult with me as well and look at your whole big picture. But like I said, just starting out, nah. Uh, you know, I don't think you do unless there is some extenuating circumstance and that's when you really need to talk to somebody. But, um, but yeah, so that's, that's really it. So, um, so you don't need to go run out and do that and worry about incurring that expense. Uh, just worry about making your money first. And then once you start growing your income, you can really uh, focus on whether or not you need to, you know, have that separation if you need to switch business structures and all of that. Okay. So I really hope this helps you out. If you're watching this and you're not a part of the super affiliate network, I invite you to click on the link in the description box, take the dollar trial, see what super affiliate network is all about. Check out the system that I use to take my business from $4,700 in one year to almost $20,000 in three and a half months. Again, that's not a guarantee of income. I'm just telling you about my experience, okay? So that's it for me today. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.